How to enter data into Demis using an Android device. On your device, go to the Play Store and search for DHIS2 Capture. The search results will return the DHIS2 Capture app. Please note that this is only supported on Android devices and not iOS or Windows mobile devices. Go ahead and install the app. Please check and make sure the app has been installed. Once the app has been installed, open it. You will be requested for a link, username and password. Type the link https colon forward slash amisuganda.org slash ms into the server URL space. Enter your username and password. Please ensure the link begins with https colon forward slash forward slash. After all these details have been entered, the app will authenticate and then begin to sync configuration and data. You will then be taken to a screen that shows the available forms. Here, select primary timely tool. If your school is at primary level, and pre-primary timely tool if your school is at pre-primary level. A list of existing records of your school, if any, will be displayed as well as a blue plus button at the bottom right. Go ahead and tap the button to enter a new form. Drill down the organizational hierarchy to the school for which data is to be entered. Select the period, yeah, whose data is to be entered. Choose the term. Tap the next button to open the data entry form. Go through the sections at the top of the screen from left to right until the last section as you enter in data in the text fields. After all the data is entered, look out for the blue floppy disk at the bottom of the screen. That is the save button. Tap the disk to save and submit the data you have entered. You will be prompted to do a data quality check to ensure that quality data has been entered. You will be taken back to the list of entered forms. On the right side of the entered forms, you will see gray arrows pointing towards each other. This is an indication that the data is entered on the Android device but not yet accessible or synchronized on the web. Tap these arrows to synchronize. It is also possible to synchronize many records with a single tap. You simply have to tap the arrow at the top left corner. A list of the forms will be displayed. Tap on the three lines in the top left corner, after which you will be presented with a menu. Select Sync Data and then tap Sync Data Now to synchronize multiple records at the same time. You can also schedule how often locally stored data can be synchronized with the database by selecting a period from the drop-down. Other options under settings include sync configuration, which allows one to pull any changes made in the metadata to their devices. Open sync error. In case you are having challenges in synchronizing, this is the option you can use to identify the error and correct it accordingly. Delete local data. This option deletes all the data on the device. It does not, however, delete the data on the database. This option should be used carefully because it can delete all the data on the device that has not been synchronized yet. This data, once deleted, will be lost completely. Reset app data and configuration. This option deletes all configurations and data stored on the device. This option also causes loss of all data that has not been synchronized yet. To analyze your data and see key performance indicators, please watch the video on analysis in DHIS2.